Hey guys, it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thanks for joining me today. Well, today I am doing my unboxing video of my holiday pre-order. Um, if you were following me on Facebook, uh, you saw how impatient I was because it was delivered on Friday, but it was delivered really late. Not sure what happened there. Uh, but I was, I had every intention of doing a Facebook Live, um, but you know, life, life just got in the way. Uh, my kids start school this week. Actually, my son started today. My daughter starts on Thursday, and this weekend, this past weekend was tax-free weekend, so needless to say, Saturday and Sunday were spent shopping for clothes, shoes, school supplies, everything else that goes together with all of that. So anyway, it's a couple of days late, but I'm still excited. I haven't opened it up. I know some of y'all were like going, you're going to wait, but yes, I did. All right. So let's see what this is all about. So this is the holiday um, pre-order uh, catalogs. I saw on Stampin' Up's website today, catalogs are um, shipping out this week to my customers. So hopefully you will be getting it here um, you know, soon. I don't really know exactly how long it will take. Um, but uh, you should be receiving them soon. Um, as demonstrators, we are able to order this a month early. Even if you uh, decide to join my team during the month of August, you can uh, choose pre-order items in your starter kit, which is really cool. So, um, you know, anytime during the month of August, if you sign up uh, and purchase the starter kit, uh, like I said, you can choose items from the holiday catalog in your kit. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of just go through all this. Here, let me move some of this stuff here. Oh my gosh. Whew, that ink caddy's heavy when it's full. Um, let me think, am I trying to think of things to say? If anything, I'm missing anything. Oh, also, if, um, you are a preferred customer. You will receive your holiday catalog from me automatically. If you're not a preferred customer, I'll link down below uh, how you can become one so that you can get catalogs free. So I always send all my preferred customers, uh, you know, obviously the annual catalog and then all of the mini catalogs that come out throughout the year. Okay, so let's just start with stamp sets. And um, what I plan on doing is uh, making a 3D project after this. I really want to use, I'll show it to you when I get to it, I really want to use uh, one of the cute um, stamp sets and make a Halloween 3D project. So that's kind of where I'm hoping I can do it. Okay, so the first one we have here is Gord Goodness. Uh, this is a really um, pretty um, uh, Halloween fall themed uh, stamp set that is photopolymer. And then Merry Little Labels. This may be one of the stamp sets. I'm not sure. I'll have to see. And this has a coordinating punch. I'll show that to you um, once we get to it. So that is clear mount, so you can get these in wood also. Then watercolor Christmas, that goes with, I wonder if this goes with this. This is a, a kit. Yep, here we go. This is watercolor Christmas project kit. So this is the coordinating stamp set. And so here you can see all of the cards that we'll make. And I love these project kits because everything uh, that you need um, other than the stamp set and like, you know, like your adhesive and stuff like that, um, you know, everything's included in here. So envelopes, envelope liners. Um, let's go ahead and open this up, see what we've got here. I'm not sure how many cards this makes. It will tell me once I get this opened. It's kind of a more um, modern look to it with the icons and stuff like that. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, so 20 cards, uh, so we're gonna have five cards of the four designs. So those are the four designs right there. And you can see we have these really pretty gold foil 
envelope liners, which is beautiful. So we have 20 of those. And then you can see the cards here. So this is a card and then this is a different card that will punch these out, these, these little holly berry leaves and stuff that you punch out. We've got our white envelopes. And then this is where we do some of our stamping. So we've got a circle and then these little labels and then these cute um, banners in real red. And then here's our card bases. So this looks like Emerald Envy, a watercolor look to it. There. And then another one. This is really faint watercolor wash. And then this is cute with the Christmas wreath. And then just a solid red card. So just some fun. Uh, Christmas cards to make. I love kits. Like I was saying earlier, it's just so easy. I like to sit in front of the TV, usually, you know, watching football or something that my family's watching. I like to be in the kitchen with them. And then it comes with the, the thin uh, gold sequin trim. So that was watercolor Christmas. And then there's the coordinating stamp set and it's nice because this is a nice little message that you can put on the inside of your card. I feel like I'm off frame so hopefully I'm not. All right this is another uh, Christmas stamp set it's called Tags and Trimmings and I think there's a matching uh, framelit set so um, when I find it I'll show this one to you again but look at the buttons aren't those so cute and a nice little to and from. So obviously we get to make tags with that. Ooh, look at these. Let's see. These are Seasons of Glitz mini bows. So we get 45 of these. Holy moly. Open this, open this up as I'm just dropping everything. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. So they're... Um, Shiny iridescent, not iridescent, but glossy. Let me get the fish down here and get one of the, I don't know what color you'd call this. It's kind of a maroon color. Maroon, mauve, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I'll have to look to see if there's colors in there. But how cute are those? They're just tiny, tiny. Okay, I'll look in the holiday catalog when I get it because I don't have my, it should be in here, um, but I had to like look at everything online. Oh, look at those black rhinestone jewels. So those will be perfect for um, Halloween. And then these are called green sprigs. You get 12 of these. And I can't remember what how they showed them in the catalog, but whatever it was, it was cute because I ordered them. They are plastic. Pull one out so you can see it. So um, let's see how tall is this. It is about two and a half inches long. So that kind of gives you an idea. So cute, cute. Um, oh, I think this is the, oh yes, yes, this is the one, Labels to Love. I want to see if I can do something cute with this stamp set, or this stamp. So again, this is clear mount, so this does come in wood mount also. And I think, oh, here we go, here's the matching punch, everyday label punch. So that's wonderful. So we'll just be able to punch that out. But I just think that is so cute. So I'm gonna to try to make something later today with that. And hopefully that will be up um, tomorrow on Tuesday. Have to kind of play around. I have some ideas. And you know how that goes. Your ideas don't always translate <laughs> the best. Okay, so let's see here. So this is some jute twine. 
and very natural obviously with jute it's uh has a lot of you know fibers coming off of it but uh you get um, approximately 15 yards it's 1 16th inch wide so definitely will be great to tie around uh, packages and um, make a bow and things like that and then this is the striped ribbon this is part of a collection which i can't think of the name right now it um they show it with the carols of christmas stamp set that i showed y'all last week i made that card last week with the builder thinlets so this is um seven eighths inch wide you get approximately five yards and it has wire on the edge so you can definitely make some really pretty bows with this so really pretty just i love the the black accent uh color this christmas really different which is nice what is it pippa pippa's in here to say hello and then this is the vintage crochet trim so they show this in the halloween section of the catalog if i can find the end come on oh here we go this is uh, a quarter inch you get five yards and so you can see that hopefully you can see that let me get a little bit closer so you can see the pattern there we go really pretty and it's a, a cotton it's a cotton uh, tr uh, trim so that was the vintage crochet okay. and then this is the mini tinsel trim combo pack obviously for Christmas and so this is a red really pretty glittery so that will really look pretty on packages and then we have it in silver and if I can find the end here there we go so you can see them both together really cute and let's see here so th oh this um this is one of the collections let me see if i can find all this together and show it to you at once let's see here what is this mini ornaments Oh, these were cute. So you get eight of these. These are a lot bigger than I expected. So these are little silver ornaments that you can hang from projects. If I can get one out. There we go. How cute are those? So it's plastic. So you'll be able just to, uh, you know, thread something through the top and, and have it dangle off super cute I really wasn't sure what to expect this they're a lot bigger than I expected that should be fun to play with all right here is another kit this is called be merry kit and there is not a stamp set that goes with this because everything is done for you every uh, so this is just putting it all together so this makes um, one two three twelve of these uh, little rosettes so you can use these as Christmas ornaments I was thinking of putting these on um, gift packages having them hang off kind of like as a tag so let's see so these are some little tool uh, circles that you'll put inside the rosette here if you can kind of see that see how it's green and red so that's the tool that you see here and um, Stampin' Up! has a really good video on how to put this together, but I'll try my best and 
see if I can do one just as good. So here's the little little tool right there and you, I think you just like pinch it together and you hot glue it in between the rosettes but this looks like a fun kit to put together so those are those items and we have some gold foil doilies right here and then we have our ribbon to hang the rosettes right here so that's a cotton ribbon nice okay so here's the rosettes so there's two different um two different patterns this gold foil polka dot and it's nice that they're already done all you have to do is just peel and stick them together so there's nothing there's not we don't we don't have to make any rosettes and then there's this one it looks like it has gold edge yeah right there so the gold foil around and then we've got some let's open this up We've got some wood veneer banners, some glimmer paper in the real red, and then this looks like uh, old olive, and those are circles, so you'll punch that out. So that's a really pretty new uh, color for glimmer paper. And then we have um, Mary and English, and then we've got two different languages here, and the same thing, so it comes in red and green. And then we've got some white uh, circles and then some gold foil Christmas trees and candy canes and it looks like we punch do we punch those out yep so there's little the candy canes so I bet you put it behind red so that it has some cute stripes so that is the be merry kit I think that will be a lot of fun and then we've got another stamp set, The Little Things. This is super cute. I love this because um, you can use it um, Halloween, Christmas, uh, you know, that can be for any occasion. This can be uh, Valentine's Day, you know, if you wanna think about it. It's this cute little stripe, you know, you can use different colors and uh, that can be like a birthday, you know, if you wanna do something with that stamp set. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of fun things you can do with this this you know you can color in the cute little images uh, with what kind of which with whatever kind of um, markers you like to use stamp and write markers or alcohol markers and let's see okay so this is okay so here is that one oh here I'll show you this real quick this is called spooky cat this is gonna be so cute so this is a photopolymer stamp set and this is the coordinating punch and I'm so excited that Stampin' Up! has um, a cat punch because I love cats and so this is photopolymer I think I may have already mentioned that and uh, I've got the paper that goes with this in here and the great thing is, is that you can use your cat punch um, to punch out the designer series paper. Okay, hold on, I gotta, my table's getting full. Oh, so here's the copy. I can only show you the front of the um, holiday catalog. So really cute, I'm so excited to look through this. So like I said, if you're a preferred customer, uh, you are going to be getting one of these here in the next, um, you know, I'd say couple of weeks. If you would like to receive one of these and um, for free, you just uh, need to I'll look to see how to become a preferred customer and I'll be more than happy to send one of these off to you. So I've got some extra copies right here. Okay, let me move this box now. I think I can do that. Okay, so let me show you, let me do Spooky Cat first. So this goes with the um, punch and what did I do with the stamp set?
Okay, so this is a cute little collection right here. So you can see here these cats right here. You can use your punch to punch out those cats. And it looks like the colors in this are pumpkin pie, very vanilla, and basic black. I'll just confirm that in just a second. Oh, and Cajun Craze. So basic black, Cajun Craze, pumpkin pie, and very vanilla. So I'll show you the patterns. That's pretty, oh. Oh, okay, whoops. I was just assuming they were, okay. If they were doubled up. So there's that pattern. And the back, oh, that's really pretty. So you can actually use these past Halloween. Cute little witch's hat and nice background. So this would be really pretty for fall. And then this um, piece of paper, they showed that you can actually stamp this owl on here. It fits in that, in the moon image. So how fun would that be? And really pretty stripe. And then some pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. And a pretty graphic dot, polka dot. And this looks like potion bottles. So I can see like people who love Harry Potter maybe like this paper a lot. In cute graphic there, and a nice stripe. And then this is all text it says Halloween trick or treat or happy Halloween trick or treat no tricks just treats boo eek spooky I think that's it cute all right and then it repeats the same papers all right so that is the spooky night designer series paper and like I said that coordinates with spooky cat and the coordinating um, punch <clears throat> Okay, next is Mary Music Specialty Designer Series Paper. You get 24 in this pack. This is thick. And the colors are Basic Black and Whisper White. And I think this is a lighter weight paper, if I remember, if I recall correctly. And I think if y'all have had like our text paper, yeah, if you like, didn't we? I think we had like some text paper years ago. This has that same weight to it. And so this is actual sheet music to Jingle Bells. And so this is the back side. So you see some pretty snowflakes and um, music notes, um, the treble clef and bass um, cymbals. Oh, okay, so we get four of those. Okay, and then the next one is Deck the Halls. And again, four pieces of this um, paper and then there's the back side so some pretty text in different languages and then this is O oh, Bethlehem I guess so this is actual sheet music uh, we Three Kings. I think that's what this is. And then pretty. All the different. So I can see some really pretty, you know, elegant cards. Okay. I don't know. I'm not going to butcher to say that properly. So anyway, so a nice pretty sheet music on black. And, very, and so similar. So now we have the snowflakes and the music notes in white. And then again, some pretty text in uh, different languages. Hallelujah, Christ the Savior is born. And this looks like Silent Night. And then just a pretty graphic paper. Black background 
and then O oh, Come All Ye Faithful. That's what that one looks like. Really, really pretty. I like that. And it's nice we have 24 sheets, so you know if you like to make cards, uh, you should have plenty of that collection. So that was called Mary Music Specialty Designer Series Paper. And then this is the Painted Autumn Designer Series Paper. I did not get the um, stamp set. I'm sure I eventually will. I had to, you know, I had to make choices, guys. I couldn't get everything. I spent more than I said I was going to. <laughs> Shocking. So, um, but it's pretty. All right, so let's see. The colors with this are Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry, Daffodil Delight, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lime Twist, Peekaboo Peach, Soft Sky, Tangerine Tango, and Very Vanilla. Okay, so you can see here. So this is a has that watercolor look to it. This is really pretty. Oh, I love the chevron. Some pretty pumpkins. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Some acorns. A nice just background paper. And it's just some green leaves and a pretty stripe. It's so fun seeing this because I was looking at everything online so you know it always looks so much different in person. So this is fun for me too. Beautiful sunflowers. I love that and then just a really pretty graphic b-side. All right so that was Painted Harvest. Oh Painted Autumn. Painted Autumn Designer Series Paper. And in this paper, this they're showing this in the catalog with the Carols of Christmas um, stamp set and uh, oh, that bundle. That's the bundle that you can actually get early this month. Just as a reminder, um, the Carols of Christmas, the early release. So all during the month of August, you can purchase this early. It does have the um, Builder Thinlets. Uh, you can just get the stamp set um, separately, uh, but if you get them both together, you do save 10%. So that's um, going on through all of, of this month. And then um, this is the designer series paper that they show with that collection in the catalog. And this is Basic Black Old Olive and Whisper White. And um, this is the ribbon that they're showing to go with it. So really, really pretty. And you could even use that vintage lace here with it too. Okay, this keeps falling over. There we go. You could use that with it too. But let me show you the paper. So just a really pretty buffalo plaid. And what I like about it so much is that, um, you know, once the season is over, you're not just stuck with themed paper. You can actually use this in a very generic way. I'm going to love this. Just so pretty. So this looks like, you know, like the Christmas star and stuff like that. But, you know, if it's after Christmas, you could just use it and you would never know. Cute little Swiss dot pattern and some pretty leaves, a bold stripe, and another buffalo check just in black and white, diagonal stripe, some Christmas trees. Now this may be a little bit more limited, that may be, but you know you have that to use. And then the leaves again in old olive and white, and then some snowflakes. So there may be just a couple of patterns that may be more, you know, for the holidays, but on the B side or the other side, you can definitely use it. All right, so let me show you this last collection. I tried to 
all together. Let me find this is the quilt. And I'll show you that. I'd have that. And then I don't know, does this go with it? Yes, it does. Okay, so this is this collection is something with quilting. But look at that cute little ribbon. Um, this is a quarter inch wide. You get approximately 10 yards. This is called quilted Christmas ribbon. So it's a cotton ribbon and um, it has a white, real red, looks like old olive in the middle. All right, so let me show you the stamp set called Christmas Quilt. So if you, um, you know, obviously if you love to quilt, this may be right up uh, your alley. But if you like to do, you know, like banners, I could see making banners out of this. It is photopolymer. So I, I think there's a lot of potential with this. Um, cute little sentiment. And then this is the Builder Framelits. That goes with the collection. So you can see all the pieces you get. Cute, it looks like a little needle. That is adorable. Oh, and a thimble, look at that. Cute, and a little flower and star and the holly leaves. So that should be lots of fun. And then this is the Quilted Christmas 6x6 Designer Series Paper Stack. Um, the colors in this are Blushing Bride, Garden Green, Lemon Lime Twist, Pool Party, Real Red, and Whisper White. That should be interesting. Let's see what we have here. And again, it's all separate, so um, Stampin' Up! is no longer um, binding all of the paper together. So hopefully you like that. I think I showed you in the unboxing video uh, for um, the annual catalog what I'm using. Here, I'll get it real quick. I just found these at my local craft store. So um, I think I think these are Michael's brands. These may be Recollection. And so it just has a really nice little plastic lid and I just store all my paper in there. So I'll do the same thing with that. Just so that they don't, the paper doesn't get ruined. All right, so let's see here. So we get four, um, where's the label? We get 48 pieces. Cute. Mm, I like this. It's pretty. So obviously a quilted uh, designs. <laughs> I'm not very good about the names of these designs, so I can't help you out there. My mom quilts, but not me. That is a really pretty pattern. I love a quilt like that. And then the stitching on the back. And here. So that just looks like um, ticking. Is that what they call that? I think so. Some pretty holly leaves and berries. And then this pattern again, just in a different color. Not pattern? Oh, this is cute. Look at all those colors together. Isn't that funny? You say them and you don't imagine that they'll look cute together, but then you see them and they all just coordinate so well. This is cute. This is going to be a fun collection to play with. And some Christmas trees. And then finally this one. Oh, cute stars. All right, so that was the Quilted Christmas 6x6 Designer Series Paper Stack. And I've got one last thing to show you. Let me just find the stamp set. Because I think when I showed it to you, I was going to show you the coordinating 
thinlets. This is trim your stocking thinlets. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Tags and trimmings. Okay, so these two go together. And this one is just so cute. This one, I overlooked it online. And then a few of my demonstrator friends, we were all talking and we were like scrolling through the catalog, making up our pre order list. And I came across it and I was like, oh my gosh. So this. Okay, so if you can imagine this, so you see this cute little stocking. So you cut this out, and then this is like a half of a pillow box. And this goes, so the stocking is the front. The pillow box, this is the back. And it like fits like gift cards and stuff like that. So um, I just can't wait to make it. So, you know, great for... You know, teacher gifts, like, you know, when you gifts to whoever you give, you know, friends, family, co-workers, you know, just those little tiny things that, that you need. So this is just the perfect little um, gift holder, gift card holder. I don't know. I mean, I'll have to play around with this. So you may be able to put other things in there, you know, stuff like some cute little candy treats and things like that. So anyway, this is just absolutely adorable. You can see we've got a snowflake, um, some vines, uh, some hearts, a little jingle bell. I'm not quite sure what that does. So like I said, I'll just have to play around with this. Here's a little tag um, that you can probably put on the front. Just, oh, I can't wait. And so this stamp set coordinates with these um, thinlets. So anyway, okay. So I think that was the last thing. I know this kind of was, you know, just kind of went from Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving kind of bounced around. But I think y'all get an idea. So let me show you the cover of the catalog again so called creativity delivered uh, you will be able to start ordering out of this um, September 1st and um, you know I'm sure it has some kind of disclaimer it's while supplies last product avail availability may be limited toward the end of the catalog sales period so you know you know, if there's something in here that you want, um, you know, I don't want to say, you know, you got to get it now, but you just never know. So, um, but if you have any questions over anything that I showed you, please comment below, head on over to my blog. I'll have a blog post today uh, with all of this. I'll um, again, link how you can become a preferred customer. Um, I would love to have you as, as a customer, but, um, I think that's it. So like I said, I'm going to try to make, 3D project with, where did I put it? This one, this labels to love. I'm gonna do something with this. I have an idea and I hope it works out. So um, check back, be sure to check back tomorrow for that. If you already um, don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscription button. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure that you do that so that, um, and there's a bell for a notification so that you can uh, get notified when new videos come up. And I think that's it. So, uh, like I said, I'm really excited to play around with all this goodies. And um, if you can't wait until September, like I said in the beginning, you can sign up, get your starter kit for $99 and um, order it now. All right, guys, have a fabulous day. Bye. Hey guys, I came across a couple items that I forgot to show you um, when I was cleaning up. So both of these items are part of that quilted suite. That was that last, um, I think one of the last things that I showed you. And these are the stitched felt embellishments. There's 15 in this package and you get three designs. So you get a cute um, holly leaf and berry a Christmas tree and then a star so this is really nice quality really cute so like I said you get 15 of those and then the other item is one of the new texture impressions embossing folders and this is kind of easy to miss in the catalog so when you get it make sure you look for this I think this is going to be a really pretty pattern to work with um, again I don't know the name of this quilted pattern but um, I know it's really popular. Is this called the wedding ring? Wedding something? I don't know. But anyway, here there's a better picture of it so that you can see. So just uh, two items that I uh, meant to show you but just overlooked. So um, 
now I think that's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it gives you an idea of what to expect when you get your holiday catalog. And of course, if you have any questions over any of the products that I use today, just a shout out to me, comment below, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Bye, guys.